Uh, so once again, a bit of an earlier ad tonight. Um, so yeah, so uh, what else should we talk about? How much I love my idiot wife. Yeah, she is a bit of an idiot. Um, let's see, since 1994, I believe when I've been homeless, I don't know, about six times through being with Sarah Jane. Uh, now, let's have it right. Only the last one is down to her and her friends and social services and lying, um, home wrecking pieces of scum who just seem to feel they can stick their nose in other people's lives because they know better, um, groom people's children to suit their own agendas and sit there and not listen to the truth because that way it might stop them getting their quota filled and they won't get all the money they get from the government for ruining people's families, which is basically what child social services do in my experience. Uh, do I have an experience from you? Yeah, I do, but we'll get into that another round. There's going to be a lot more, believe me. Uh, but yeah, so throughout the early years, me and Sarah Jane being together, um, she was used and abused by my mother, who basically used her as a taxi service, um, a personal bank, which I later found out about, and various other things. I told her to stop doing it regularly, and she would ban Sarah Jane for coming up. I didn't tell Sarah Jane this, so I just ended up moving out, which happened a number of times within the first couple of years of Sarah Jane and I being together. And then fast forward to when we finally got a place together, and people still do it. Um, so those times were all down to other people using Sarah Jane. So I stayed at her mum's house, I stayed at her so-called friend's house, who's no longer a friend, who's actually come to Eastley himself and caused more problems than anything else, after spending the last year and a half feeding me lies. Uh, he himself works in social care, so that says a lot really, doesn't it? Um, but yeah, but the last time I was made homeless was down to... Me telling the truth about all the technology I've been pointing out, which is documented fact. It's written out everywhere. I mean, Christ, you can't, you can't actually Google it without finding hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of page. Um, it's a, the main Google thing to search is a Russian microwave tech gun. Have a look at that. Uh, I've already shown you all the things, but imagine what it's like with the woman who you've actually become homeless for so many times in your life just because... You wanted her not to be bullied, used and abused um, financially, economically and uh, basically in, in a domestic environment as well. And that carried on and carried on. Uh, I can't think why I was so happy to get a place with Sarah Jane over 20 years ago. Uh, and then we were happy. Uh, we kept ourselves to ourselves. We got on with our life. Um, we didn't get involved in all, all of our friends' lives very much because we were happy together. Plus they have recreational habits, which I don't agree with around Sarah Jane, which later she was pulled into with a Hindu, which involved her being stoned off her face and driving under the influence of cannabis and alcohol with our daughter in the car. Um, again, so I'm homeless because of that. And that was what was used in the statement. Also, certain things were removed from Sarah Jane's Virgin, uh, Virgin sorry, Vodafone, my apologies, Vodafone phone line, including these various text messages she sent to me proving that her statement was completing out a lie, saying she was back at half past six to her home with a portion of chips, which she wasn't. She went back out about an hour and a half later after coming back just after seven with our daughter in the car, and she stunk of weed, I've got to be honest with you. I don't have a problem with people smoking, but Sarah Jane's not a user of drugs. She doesn't smoke cigarettes. We'd have the occasional drink a weekend or whatever, but we were trying to get our life back together after all the harassment had us moved. So, yeah, I got us moved because of all the harassment and down to my... Uh, actual TRT and my TRT doctor actually saying that he was going to happily write a letter to say that we shouldn't be experiencing the level of harassment we were. And he was disgusted by the local landlord not doing their job and moving us because we fought for years, got MPs involved, police, ward councillors and everything like that, until eventually they started using this tech and I'd had enough. I mean, the minute the idiot moved in next door, the tech was being used, you could feel vibration through the walls, which Sarah Jane herself won't be able to deny. And these are all facts. Do your research, guys. Read it. It's all real, you know. Um, then it comes to, obviously, me being homeless again. Because I moved... Oh, blimey, no, it's another time. This one actually is to Sarah Jane as well, but it was to come back and do what the MP in Cornwall said. I, I went to Cornwall for a period of time, ended up homeless on the beach for a night. Got a bed set, and then uh, was told to take all my information back to Andover because the MPs had spoken, there'd be police there to deal with it. I said I would like a solicitor present, and the police decided they weren't going to do anything about it after keeping me outside, and basically me sleeping out in a park near my home. Sorry, I, I forgot, it's twice being homeless to Sarah Jane, and then, oh no, no, then it'll be homeless again in Eastleigh, and homeless again in 
Southampton, homeless again in Ainsbury. All right, well, I'm not blaming Sarah Jane completely for him because it's not really her fault because she was bullied, coerced and influenced. And that's the problem that's always happened with Sarah Jane. Not by me. <laughs> Never. I love the woman. I didn't bully her at all. Um, I can't think of the amount of times when most blokes would have just rawr at her and I didn't. I'd be like, uh, I'd stop. I think, oh, I love the woman. She does everything for us. It was always a partnership, but at the end of the day, I had no problem with her doing what she wanted all the time. Would have gotten away to safeguard her? Yes. Do I know a lot of times she was being dragged out with people who were druggies and all the rest of it? Yeah. But then when she starts to lie when she was going out with them, I'd make a point. Say, oh, come off it. You always say you're doing this, but you're doing that. Why lie about it? You know what I mean? But that's what happened. They say that all the people you hang around with influence your behaviour. The five people you spend most of your time with influence your behaviour with regards to, I don't know, um, how you act, how you behave. Sure, Jane never hurt our children very much and never swore around until she started hanging around with certain people. She didn't lie, she didn't get involved in drugs until yet again she was dragged out by certain people. One of them was supposed to be a teacher, I was supposed to be a high level athlete. All involved in drugs and I've been involved with drugs since before we even had children. And yet Sarah Jane would never spend a lot of time with them because they were really friends of mine from college who I would hang out with. Um, you know, did I ever do any drugs near our children? No, other than prescription pain medication. Did Sarah Jane know? Not until this Hindu, uh, which then six weeks afterwards I was removed uh, from my home for apparently coercive and controlling behaviour, which the CPS basically laughed at. Uh, the guy in the interview said, so, I said, so did I do well? So we haven't hesitated, Chris. You haven't said no comment. He said, to be honest with you, man, I don't even know why you're here. Um, you know, and having read through the statement, I said, well, they're all taking drugs. Oh, right. Um, uh, okay, then. They were all down in the pub taking drugs. The lardy cake in Andover. So Jane came back with a wristband on, people. Wristband. You understand? Don't get that from someone's house, which is what she was told to say. She was going to a house. She took a kitty envelope, you know, little... Brown envelopes. Imagine me understanding this. It's not like I've got a history of, you know, I don't know, security. So I wouldn't understand how this works. But you see how this happened. So because of Sarah Jane's friends bullying her, I ended up homeless because I tried to safeguard her. Saying, well, I don't agree with mummy going to this hen do because I know there's going to be drugs there. Mummy doesn't do drugs. And then social services backed her for doing drugs. Driving under the influence with our daughter in the car. So that's all for endangerment. Endangerment of minor. Endangerment of the general public. It is really a prison sentence. And yet, suddenly out of nowhere, I'm the bad guy on to our children. She groomed the kids. Uh, the child social services worker, along with various other people, groomed them as well, I guarantee you. I guarantee you that the children's life is nothing but a lie since I was removed. Um, they tried to get me to act in a certain way. Even the child social services worker tried to get me to fire off him. I asked him, do you have children? Oh, are you, are you threatening me? No, I'm not threatening. I'm just asking, you've got kids. That's how pathetic and inflammatory these idiots are. It's a disgrace. So yeah, so I've been homeless, right, maybe more than once due to Sarah Jane. But the problem is, is that I love my wife. I married her for the rest of my life. I made vows in front of my grandfather and her parents and our children to be with her for the rest of my life. But other people don't see it that way. I wonder how many of you have had your lives pulled apart by other people rather than your other half. How many men have had their lives ripped apart by their wife or their partner's friends sticking their nose in and saying what's best. You don't know what's best, people. You're invading human rights and people's lives. You've got home records. All of you. So let's have fun and pull your skeletons out of the closet. It's going to be really interesting to see in it. Yeah? What is that? Nothing but manipulative, toxic people. As I spoke to child social service, adult social services and everything else, domestic abuse charities. Chris, your wife is surrounded by toxicity. Get her away from it. But that's not allowed because now they may commit crime. So now she'll face criminal prosecution for what she's done. Yeah, well, I've got no problem going to prison at the end of this. Whatever I ended up having to do. Do you know what I mean? If I have to breach the official secrets act or whatever. Simple as that, isn't it? Yeah, I've signed it. Once or twice. I wonder how many times Sarah Jane has breached things like GDPR. Our children's human rights. My human rights. Because of her friends. Because of what she wants to do. Anyway, today's rant. See you tomorrow.